most famous font. All right, I said it. There it is. That's what Design Week, a London magazine, said and gave me a full page article. I worked at Microsoft from 1993 to 1999. During that time, our goal was to put a computer on every desk in every home. 1995, the long-awaited Windows 95 is released. Consumer Division's biggest product for Windows 95 was Microsoft Bob. They want to know what we think of the fonts. And that's what I saw. And I said, what do you mean? It's Times New Roman. The obvious to, to a graphic person is comic dogs don't talk in Times New Roman. Everybody knows that. In my office I had a couple of comic books because we used to do fonts for the consumer division for other apps like Encarta um, and Creative Writer. You know, I knew this would come in handy someday and here it was. I pretty much referenced Watchmen and I was trying to copy the letter forms and these are all hand drawn so all the letters are different. I just drew these things up very quickly to kind of get them ready for this Microsoft Bob project. So they added this on as a, a added pack they would sell or they'd add it to OEM versions. OEM version is the one that gets put in the computer. So all the computers that shipped, shipped Comic Sans. That's why it was everywhere. <laughs> it's often badly used. I've been in churches. It'll be on things in the church. I've been in any place you can imagine and I've seen it. surprised and happy with it. You know, I don't think it's great work. I'm kind of embarrassed that my design career is based on being Mr. Comic Sans, but, um, you know, but that's the nature of it. I've made a lot of faces in my time, but nothing ever made such an impact as much as this typeface.